All right, I should be live here. Let's throw Vector 36 in there. All right, let's open up Joystick Gremlin. Uh, have all these axes. Let's start. Start plug-in. Oh, wait. A oh, feature device select. Let's go to the dashboard. What's going on with ya? Whatever, that's fine. Let's double check. That's right. Amp is working. Okay, looks like everything's working. All right, let me go ahead and share this to Discord. Your channel. All right, status stop, start the device. Um, I actually need to double check and see, uh, make sure that I don't bottom out. All right, okay, should be good. Um, let's go ahead and come into here, game engine. All right, and let's just throw this over here and transition. Okay, minimize that. Oh, where's the RSI launcher? Right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna be seeing if the game is gonna crash on me. Um, like it did last night uh it was a driver crash too so it caused my stream to end which is not exactly ideal if i want to be streaming while playing star citizen let's go ahead and move this over here just adjusting my mouse pad and getting my joystick moved onto my steel plate. Okay. Here we go. All right. We got chat. We got, ooh, let me actually Move this here, and I need to open up uh, my joysticks thing so I can see what my bindings are. Wait for the program to respond. Come on, Star Citizen. What's wrong with you? <sighs> I love this chair. Uh, this morning, I wasn't really able to use it because the um, hinge that I used to attach my desk, it uh, broke. So I had to try a couple of different hinges to see which ones were most secure and what one was a door hinge. So yeah, the regular T-slot hinges, okay, this is taking too long, um, were not working. Uh, immerse camera detected. All right, let's verify game files. Um, but yeah, basically the T-slot hinges that I was using, they just kept breaking. Um, Cause I guess 
they weren't just strong enough. So yeah, settled on a door hinge, which so far seems to be working really well. It also, um, I had an issue when I undid the latch because basically my desk has um, two T-slot bars, which are connected to um, two HOTAS mounts that I bought a while ago for mounting my dual sticks to a desk. And I just adapted them to work with this off of those um, T-slot posts. One side has a hinge, the other side has a latch so that um, I can unlatch it, lift it up, put it back down, latch it back in. Uh, but with the previous T-slot hinges, it would uh, wobble a little bit um, and then the hinges eventually would just snap off right at the hinge part. So. A door hinge should be strong enough indefinitely, um, but we'll see. So earlier, it looked like Easy Anti-Cheat may have been, been getting hung up on my immersed uh, camera, something or other. Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and close the program again. And yeah, so easy anti cheat, untrusted system file. Program files immersed, immersed camera.dll. Let's just delete that DLL um, because I don't need it. Um, immersed camera DLL. Probably re download it um, the next time I launch immersed, but that's fine. Let's relaunch Star Citizen and see if that was the issue. Sure, because that wasn't happening last time. The only thing that I can think of that would have changed things between then and now was I installed new drivers, uh, graphics drivers. So, maybe. Worst comes to worst, I can just reinstall Star Citizen. But that wouldn't be very fun. How is the balance in the chair right now? Interesting. Gosh darn it. Well, this is sure entertaining, isn't it? Okay. Let's verify again. Um, uh, let's see. Easy anti cheat. Immersed camera dot DLL. Mm. You know, I'll just uninstall immersed. Let's add or remove programs and let's get rid of immersed agent. Uninstall, uninstall. Close before. Do not close applications. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and restart the RSI launcher as well and launch the game. And let's see what happens. Initializing. Waiting for game. Memory usage. CPU usage. 1%. Actually, less than 1%.
All right, well, we didn't get the immersed uh, camera DLL issue, at least. Let's <sighs> check task manager. Ba ba ba. Saw some information, but not all. Hi, it looks like Star Citizen is at least doing something with my CPU right now. Uh, interesting here. Ba ba. Morning to ya. Mm. Well. Yeah, it still looks like Star Citizen is doing something. Star Citizen is not utilizing any CPU resources. Let's just keep waiting. Um, All right, well, let's try deleting my user folder. Uh, so we're looking for C. Oh, this is so entertaining. C, program files. That's program files x86, program files. Roberts Space Industries. Star Citizen, live, user, client, zero, controls, mappings. I'm just going to copy mappings here. Delete the user folder. And verify. Okay. 
Let's launch the game. Ooh, come on, just work. The joys of Star Citizen. Thank you. Let's see. Boo, boo, boo. Kind of detected. Enable face over IP features. No. Huh. Just look at that. It was the user folder. We're in business. Now, though, I don't know if. I might need to copy over my mostly default bindings because I did create key bindings that were mostly default. I have Joystick Gremlin mapped to the default key bindings. Um, so let's go. Yeah, so I need to do mostly default. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Actually, I might not need to quit. I might be able to... Um, okay, let's go graphics. Let's do borderless. Okay. Come on. Fine, we'll go windowed. And got this here. Yeah. What? Minimize. Mappings. Okay. And user client zero. Uh, was that? Controls. Mappings. Mostly default. It's also a copy and paste in there. All right, change back to borderless and key bindings, mostly default. Um, let's load that. And I think I should with that be good to go. Um, ba -ba -ba. Minimize that. All right, I wanted to do though um, Arena Commander and just do some racing. That's what crashed last time. Doing my arrow. We'll launch game and see if we get a driver crash again. Mm. Star Citizen has stopped running unexpectedly. Okay. Um, option to leave a bug log, okay. User, live, debug logs, mission manager. This is from today. DFM race.log. Let's open this up. Come on, open it, notepad, always. Queued start, success, success, success. Mission variables. Let me see if this is a known bug. Star Citizen, always, at least it didn't do a driver crash. Crashes at start of race. Um, Star Citizen, crash, start. Um. Star Citizen crash during race. Let's 
Star Citizen Reddit crash. Mm. We'll launch the game again. Acknowledge. Um. <sighs> that sucks. I really would like to be able to do some races. Let's look at the known issues for 3.7.4. Um. Ship claims are not functioning. Loadout service issues. Ground vehicles and initial spawn points. Um, Star Citizen. All right, let's try this one more time. Classic race. Oh wait, this is multiplayer. Single player. Maybe it's a ship. Let's try it in the... Let's do the Super Hornet. Or no, 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 let's first try a different map. So we'll do the arrow. Let's do it. Rickard Memorial. Record memorial. All systems online. Three, two, one, go. Okay. No crash this time. Um, so, first things first. Oh, that's not right. That's definitely not right. Oh. There's the crash. Start race in. Uh, man. That's Star Citizen for you, I guess. Also, the bindings for things were not working properly. Um, that was probably a user error, though. Okay, let's open the image up. Let's go to options, key bindings, advanced, joystick, flight movement. Okay, so basically, so strafe up and down is two, so. So joystick two should be NXT left. I think. So wait. Uh flight. Flight movement. So, strafe up and down, let's input two, pitch, yeah. So mostly default, so we have, should be joy on three, two is NXTL and NXTR, wait. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, K. So let's load that. All right, I don't know if that's correct. 
but we will find out while inside of a hangar. Go ahead and get up. Whew. Let's go to options, controls, mouse sensitivity down to like five. Nope, still too much. Let's try three. Yeah, that feels about right. Call the elevator. Lobby. Jeez. I am not betting that 3.18 is going to be more stable than 3.17. But it would be nice if it was. This performance Welcome is to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Garbage right now. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been deleted. Okay. I love the arrow. Such a great looking ship, too. Maybe some people don't like the aesthetic of it. I do. Alright, so first first. Power on. Sure, right, ready? All systems online. That's not right. Okay. What the heck? You know what? I'm just gonna reconfigure all these manually. And we'll go bottom to top with the V-Joy at the bottom. So, flight movement. Joystick Kotas. Flight movement. Pitch. It's Y-axis. Wait, okay, wait. So that was input two. So, all right. Mostly default. So, that. That, that, load. Nope. Okay. All right. Advanced controls, joystick hook to S, flight movement, pitch, it's y axis. Yaw, yeah. y-axis, roll. Whatever, z-axis is fine. Um, maybe I will just have it all be mapped to Huh. Strafe up and down. Strafe left and right. Throttle forward and back. Okay. 
Um, okay, that should be it. Um, wait. Let's unbind. Okay. Let's go back. Turn. All right, looks like we're good here. Come on. What? Options, key bindings. Flight, movement. Um, total forward. Back. Waiting for button type input. Was it this? Huh? All right. Time to open up the gremlin and see. Turn this off. What about if we go into mod? Mod four? Default. What's this one? Okay. Let's do a mod one on it. What button is this? 28. Remap to... Um, wait a second. Do I not have... No, okay, that's that's mapped. Default. What the heck? Could have sworn I mapped one of these to left alt L. It's left all tilt. What's that supposed to be? Toggle look ahead. Okay. Jeez. Button 28 is C. So mode one, we'll just. Does this be map to keyboard? And this will be. Oh, like. I don't know what's currently here. What's the default preset? What's on X? Alright, we'll just do like Shift Z, I guess. Shift Z, okay. Yeah, we'll save changes. Save profile. Alright, so then. Advanced controls to shift Z. No, that would end up just being Z. Let's do shift Z. Okay. So. Go ahead and minimize that. And quest landing. What do you mean? You are to launch. Oh, I don't know. 
like yaw is not working. Keep on dings. Flight movement. Thank you. And please visit again. XX is simple too. There we go. Okay. Let's turn a couple of them out off. to the other side of the planet where it's bright. She will go over here. Oh yeah, my landing gear. Did I have that bound too? Engine toggle. plan to get a uh, what's it called? Um, well, I'll save that for some other time. It'll be a surprise. when I do that feels like scary right because when I'm like pulling around like this and boosting restricted area. I don't want 
want a crime stat? The arrow does kind of look like an extra in the cockpit. Not the most beautiful planet to fly around, but it's a, there's something about Star Citizen and just flying low to the ground like this on planets. It's just really, really neat. Alright. Let's start climbing. Oof. <sighs> There's Crusader. Not enough fuel to get there. Let's go ahead and get back to our... where is it? Microtech. I think we started falling back towards the planet. Orbital markers. Oof. Bottom drive is now up. So there's one of the orbital markers, and we're looking for Everest Harbor. It's on the other side of the planet. Harbor is still obscured. Oh. Bottom drive is now up. Okay, jurisdiction of Hurston Dynamics, and we got Lorville and Everest Harbor. There's a missile. Ooh. It's approaching. Oh, that's some lag. Just want to contact ATC to land. So, request landing. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Let's go ahead and put landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. And we have lights. Oh, that's too slow. Yeah, 
we don't use any of those fancy schmancy camera tricks here. We land all naturally. That's it. Hello. Thank That's you for that. contacting EDL Landing. And power off. Okay. Well, that was fun. Got a little bit of flying in. I'm probably gonna call it a night. It's getting late here. I am still in my scrubs. I should get retrieved, right? Well, that was fun. Ta-ta.